So, in this video, I'll be showing you how I made my snowplow and running through what you need and how to make it and stuff. Right. What I first did is I got a sheet of aluminium like this, obviously, aluminium, and measured out how how long it needed to be at an angle. And then and that out, and then just with a Stanley knife, wherever it's done. Not oh, with a sharp knife, just scored out where it wanted to be. And aluminium is really soft, so you can cut most of the way down. And after I cut out the shape, just just bent it to make it snap out to the final little bit. And then after I done that, I got a hinge to make it inside there. There is a hinge. That's just that a hinge off a cupboard. And I just got two holes and screwed it on to the front bit. And then I got another piece of aluminium and cut it out like this. An angle like that. And what I did is drew two holes and attached it on top of the bumper there. And then you attach those those three holes there are for the hinge. But is what I did is I decided not to use this one and make it longer. So instead of just having it here like that, so the power's here, make it longer so the power's further out, away from the wheels. Because with this original way of attaching it on, it would rub against the wheel. And is what is all I used was some small screws. You can find one. Just some small Phillips head screws. About about twelve mil wide. Not very long. And I just took the bumper off. Is my bumper. And just attached that long piece through there with those screws, and used all the other screws all the way around. Is what I did with this is I got a long reel of cable that we have in our garage. Long, very thin. Yeah, it's quite thin. About two mil to a mil and a half thick. I got some of this. I cut off the amount I wanted and then got some I've got a large reel of copper tubing copper pipe and then just cut off about one fifteen mil of it and after I did that got it got, made a loop there's a loop there and this is a different one that I made is like a tow cable and you make a loop you slot that over slot the copper piping over the loop and then you put it in a vise and just squeeze, just squeeze the copper piping together. And if you properly like lean on the vise really hard, make it really tight, you can hang off it. And make make it even better. You put the two bits apart, and when you squidge it, squidge it flat once, and you squidge it again to make it like fold. See the fold there. I had to two bits come together. And that, that that's how I made this. And this I've slotted one of my body clips over. And then that clips onto the back of the car. There. To hold no power with two holes in each corner of the bumper there. And that's how I made it. So all I used was the drill with a screwdriver bit to get the screws through the aluminium. Because there's no real need to drill a hole because how soft it is. And that was about it. Although I did use, if I can find one. No, can't find it. I. It's like a very pointy bit of sh shaft of metal. And then just 
hit it with a hammer to make a dint in the aluminium so that the screw is screwing. You could also use just a nail to make a hole or even just a really small, like, really small nail. And that's how I made it. Really easy. Took about 20 minutes. Well, it took about an hour for me, but I had to figure out how to use it. You'll have to use it differently for different cars, but with the FJX Vantage, the bumper hole is perfect for just sticking this on. So, thank you for watching, and see you next time.